Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we're gonna show you how to make rainbow jello cups. These are the perfect party treats you can make for your friends and family during the holidays. To make these treats, you will need jello. We'll be using red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You'll also need some unflavored gelatin. And you're going to need some cup molds as well. We're going to make a couple of different sizes today, but no worries if you don't have different sized molds. Use whatever you have. Okay, let's start by blooming some gelatin. Going to add two tablespoons into this bowl filled with water. Now just mix this up until you don't see any white chunks. Perfect. Now let's start by making red jello. Going to add a tablespoon of jello powder into a half cup of hot water. Let's also add half of this gelatin. Mix this up. Make sure your jello liquid is hot during this part or else your gelatin won't dissolve. 30 seconds in the microwave should do the trick if your liquid is lukewarm. Okay, now I'm gonna pour red jello into a few of these molds. We're gonna fill all six colors into this, so pour equal parts. And for these larger molds, we'll be pouring six colors for two, but doing three colors for one. So this last one, I'm gonna pour a third. Perfect. Now let's make purple jello. Follow the same steps as before. Now I'm going to fill the rest of the molds with purple. Once again, for these smaller ones, we'll be adding all the colors. Fill the top row here. This last one, we're also doing three colors, so adding a third here. Now I'm going to chill these in the fridge for about an hour or so. Once the hour is almost up, start making your next colors. Let's make orange. Now let's pour the orange jello in all the molds that have red. You want to do this while your liquid is still hot, that way it melts the top of the red just a little bit. And you want to fill the same amount as you did with the red. Perfect. Okay, now let's make blue jello. Give me a second. Now we're going to pour the blue jello in all the molds with purple. Make sure this liquid is hot, that way it slightly melts the top. Do the same here. Okay, I went ahead and made yellow jello. Let's pour the yellow into all of the molds with the red jello. Same amount as before. Do the same here. And since we're using three colors for this last one, we can fill this one all the way to the top. Now let's make green. Do the same thing, fill all the molds where we started with purple with green jello. Do the same here, we'll fill that last one all the way to the top with green. Now let's pour a little bit of green into the molds where we started with red. Let's also pour blue. And top them off with purple. Now the mold where we started with purple, let's fill them with yellow. Now orange. And red. Fill the bottom with green. Now let's fill the top with yellow. Fill the bottom row with blue. And let's finish with purple. Now let's fill the top row with orange. And we'll finish up by adding some red. By the way, just another reminder. Each color should be chilled before you pour in the next color. Once you pour the last color, I would chill them overnight, but you can also wait 4-5 to five hours and they should be good. Alright, kept these in the fridge overnight. Let's see how they turned out. Start with one of these smaller ones. Push them out, and they should slide out. Uh oh. Ugh, this one got messed up. No! I sprayed this with cooking oil too. Had trouble with this before. Knew this one would be tricky. Ah, what a waste. Okay, let me try another one. If it doesn't come out easily, then I'll have to think of another method. Mmm, yeah, okay, change of plans. Okay, this is going to hurt. But the only way to get these cups out without ripping it is to rip the mold itself. So I'll be using these scissors to cut the mold. It's a shame. These molds were still pretty new too. But sacrifices must be made for these cups. 
Alright. Was it worth ripping that mold? I think so. Look how awesome this rainbow cup looks. Here's a closer look at another one. It was pretty hard to see inside the mold, but the colors look pretty even, and they all blended well together. Okay, now let's take out the big cups. These should be good. I do not want to bring out the scissors again. There we go. Alright, so this is the cup where we only use three colors. This looks really good. Alright, let's check out the other cup with three colors. Oh, this one came out nice too. Which color scheme do you like better? Here, let me show you side by side. I might go for the purple, blue, and green one. Okay, now let's check out the rainbow ones. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Here's a closer look. Here's another look at our giant rainbow cup. Okay, got our skinny and white jello cups side by side. Now let's fill our jello cups with something sweet. You can add whipped cream. Or if you want, you can fill the cups with soda or candy. Whatever it is, visually, it's going to be amazing. Okay, now sit back, relax, and enjoy while I do a little slicing show. The colors are going to be amazing! Awesome or pop fans. Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you If you're new to the channel and became a fan click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya